The kids and I have been sick now for a week as of tomorrow morning. I'm just getting done what I gotta get done and happy that I can breathe right now with my mouth closed. So let's get on with this. It's okay, Russell. It's okay, I know it's weird. I haven't shot a video in a year. I think I've shot two videos, two videos in the last year. Actually, I've shot a few more. I've only posted two videos because my life got a little crazy. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Sue. My channel is called Sparkle and Ash. It's not a play on my name. It just sounds like it is. Yeah, you know, I made a lot of beauty content and I will continue to make some beauty content because I really like beauty stuff and it's something I didn't start to explore until I was 37. 37. It's a big part of who I am that I was denying exploring because the men in my life don't like glam, don't like makeup, and my mom always told me that she and I had a type of pretty that makeup didn't suit well with. Through the miracle of God, we became parents and have two children. A lot has changed around here. Anyhow, I will have a whole separate video coming up on sort of what this channel is gonna be. It's not gonna be a mommy vlog. It's not going to be a beauty channel exclusively. You know, I'm still really, part of the reason I'm struggling, I'm struggling to put into words what it is that, that this is about. It's a story of remaking yourself into who you actually are. Anyhow. <laughs> All of that said, because I've dragged my feet, fear, avoidance, let's get real here, and not made the video of, hey, this is actually what this channel is about. My debut video to come back is a beauty video. I have been blessed to receive not one, but two Colored Rain mystery boxes. And we are gonna do an unboxing to see what is in them. I received one box, but it's very heavy. So I'm going to assume that there are two mystery boxes inside of here. Just to give the rundown, if you have been watching beauty YouTube, especially small YouTubers, these colored rain mystery boxes have been flooding people's feeds for a couple weeks now. $35 and for $35 you get one eyeshadow palette, three traditional bullet style lipsticks, two liquid lacquer lips, a set of eyelashes, a beauty tool, and a highlighter. That's a lot of stuff for $35. If you watched any of my beauty videos from 2018, you know that I actually have a lot of color drain eyeshadows. I have a lot of the single pan eyeshadows. It's a black owned business. That's really great to be able to support minority businesses, women-owned businesses, black-owned businesses. It's something that frequently gets overlooked in a world full of, you know, Too Faced and Estee Lauder. Supposedly, inside of each mystery box, there should be $150 minimum worth of goods. Um, so in theory, I have $300 worth of makeup in this box. And as of today, I got an email saying that they have restocked their mystery boxes. It's a great way, $35, to explore the brand and at least get a feel for if you like the way their items perform. I've been really curious about their lipsticks, especially their bullet style lipsticks, since I don't tend to do liquid lips. Got a personal email from the brand owner, Lorraine, thanking me for being a customer and of course it may just be a stock email doesn't matter really nice touch so let's open the goodies bubble wrap all day long okay as i was saying i own a lot of colored rain eyeshadow already. I own a lot of their single pan shadows. I own two of their small six pan palettes. 
which seem to be what's in most people's mystery boxes. Most people seem to be getting very cute, which is one I already own and adore. I use it a lot. Um, they're six pan palettes. There were four versions of them. Very cute and the lovelies are the two that I own. There was also a smoke show and beauty rust. And both of these are a warmer tone. These are two cooler tone ones. I'm hoping that I get something different. Uh, I hope I get soul. Any of their metallic liquid lips, small form. I'm rambling and still haven't gotten to what's in here. So let's do that and move on with our life. I can say right off the bat, I have six traditional bullet lipsticks. Wow, these are heavy. I can also tell you by looking at the names of the shades, I do not have any duplicates. Hurrah. Also, I do have Soul, the one that I was hoping to try, which by the way will probably look terrible on my complexion, but I, <laughs> I've been eyeing it for a year. I also have not four, but six. Six lip lacquers. We have matte, 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 we have matte. So we don't have any metallic here. I got really excited because the tops are metallic, so I thought, oh, I'm getting metallic lips. I'm not, I'm getting, it's okay, it's okay then. So I got two more of those than I expected, so out the gate, we're, we're rolling. My two single pan shades in S'mores and Intergalactic, which I already own Intergalactic. Two sets of lashes, which by the way, probably a giveaway, cause I already have a lot of lashes. I don't wear them. It's like a really, really extra thing in my life that kind of stopped doing before I had two children under the age of two that I was chasing all the time. Ah. Okay, so I have CR25 and CR23. Whoa, that is dramatic. Uh, CR23 is very dramatic. Wow. I feel like my sister would really like that type of lash if my sister did lashes. Okay, I'll CR25 is a more realistic version and still really beautiful and dramatic. Anyhow, two different highlighters. Bourgeois pressed highlighter. Looks like it's gonna be rosy colored and luxurious bling, which looks really beautiful. And then my two palettes are Beauty Rust, which is so a color scheme I can't pull off, but I am so excited because I wanted to try it. <sighs> okay, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. And I'm really excited about it, even though it's going to look like poop smeared on my eyes. And lovelies, which, like I told you, I already have. I think it's beautiful. It's kind of patriotic-y colored and yet cool toned. This would be not one, but two of their makeup bags, which a long time ago when these first came out, I really wanted them. Um, this and their Empty refillable palettes, magnetized. Oh, I really wanted both. So I got two of these. Hmm. One for me, one for you. Two extra lip paints. So I'm feeling like this is good. This is good. I am not gonna do live swatches. I'm not. I'm not gonna do live swatches of these items. You know what I'm gonna do? A follow -up video. What you did need to see is that I got colors that didn't overlap. And then if you decide to do more than one mystery box, that care is taken for you not to get duplicates. So that's awesome. I really appreciate this brand. I think it's a really good brand. I think it's really good quality. Again, I've only used their eyeshadows, love them. I'm gonna link below to a review from Stephanie Nicole. She reviewed the Queen of Hearts palette and then she reviewed all four of the um, these little palettes. So I got six traditionals, 
Uh, Chaco Lip Whipped Arabian Night Charm Soul and Cameo. And all their product marketing, all their packaging points out they're vegan, cruelty free, and gluten free. So, hoorah! Let's go ahead and whip Soul open. So on videos, the lipstick bullets looked really, really white, and this is not white. This is a very ivory color. Hi, color trained. This is Soul. I am gonna hate that. <laughs> that is not gonna look good on me at all. Wow. Okay. Uh, I hope I get Soul, which by the way will probably look terrible on my complexion, but I. I've been eyeing it for a year. This one is Choco Lip. I do not anticipate this being fantastic for me. Nope, it is a darker version of Soul. It's beautiful. Then we have Arabian Night. Whoa. <laughs> Talk about purple. That's sexy. That is pretty fantastic. Then we have Charmed. I'm sure. This is a very traditional nude. Hi, let's focus on you. I hate that term nude. That's just rude. But um, it's a very pink, a more natural toned pink. This one is whipped. It is very brown, very orangey brown. And lastly, I have Cameo. Cameo. This kind of reminds me of Velvet Teddy from MAC. It's a very 90s brown, which looks excellent on the right skin tone. And I'll be honest, in the monitor here, this is looking pretty awesome against my skin. In reality, it's not good on my skin, or maybe it's just not something I enjoy. The lip paints. I am curious about this royal blue. Blue lipstick and blue lip paints notoriously are patchy, really patchy. I have one from Beauty Bakery. Maybe I will compare the two. Cute packaging, very fun. And this one's called Spiked Punch. This one's a very vampy color. It's called Roulette. And then we have Boss Babe. I don't know what to think about Boss Babe. If I'm kind of sick of that whole term. Boss for women. Oh, that is not what I was expecting when I was looking at the box. This is a very lovely mauve color. Then we have Red Sea. That is really pretty. That is really deep. And then I have Ooh La La. It looks like a magenta which I tend to really like magentas, but I'm digging the Marc Jacobs O Flamingo. Oh yeah, oh wow though. Intergalactic, I already own it. It does not come out in that color. It's a very sheer color that you put, it's a topper. You put it over another color and it really makes it very cosmic looking. I'll insert somewhere. A look for that and then this is s'mores and it would look like poop smeared on my eye or mud smeared on my eye so I'm definitely gonna pass that along because those warm orangey browns they do not look good on me check out the beauty rush
while I'm obviously going to make videos that do have beauty content and fairly regularly because I think it's fun. My focus for this channel is broader. For me, a huge part of my redemption and my own phoenix rising from the ashes has been surviving the grief of my dad's very death uh, and surviving years of premature ovarian failure and infertility and adoption scammers and realizing I got older and older and was apologizing constantly for being me. I don't want to apologize all the time for becoming a better version of myself, a clearer version of myself. So if any of this 40-ish mess is remotely um, appealing to you or relatable to you, I hope you stick around. I hope you consider subscribing. God bless each of you. I love you. I miss you. I miss me. I miss this channel. So, I'm back.